2004 season with Waterloo, that first year in the USHL, we won the Clark Cup, which is the, the Stanley Cup pretty much for that league. To play with the guys I played with, uh, you know, that year, Joe Pavelski, who's probably top 10 players in the NHL right now. A lot of guys went on to D1 scholarships. You know, they're still playing, rather it's the AHL or, you know, overseas. And that year, got voted uh, the most improved player on the teams. That was a you know a team vote, not the coaches picking. So that that's something that was pretty special to me. You know to be you know chosen by those guys to get that award. I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, I think probably the premier dirt track uh, in the in the country in the world is Knoxville Raceway, and that was 25 minutes from home. And and so um, at the time, my dad owned a World of Outlaws sprint car, and you know pretty much until I was eight years old, thought I was going to be a race car driver. And um, you know just as tough as our sport is, my dad kind of just got burnt out in it, got sick of spending the money, and and uh, said, all right, you know our family's done with racing. My heroes are Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, Davey Allison, you know, now what? And uh, and so I uh, had some buddies that were going to the ice rink, they had hockey practice after school and jumped in the car with them, went and watched, and the next day my mom and I were signed up for learning skate programs, buying the equipment. Every weekend we were going to a different hockey tournament and actually, um, you know, led to change of schools. My junior year of high school moved to Chicago, Illinois and played for a team there. And, then uh, that led me to uh, the Waterloo Blackhawks in the USHL and um, you know played my senior year and then the following year. I had peaked at, at my playing ability and kind of stalled out at 510, uh, you know, buck 80 and these guys, you know, you know to go on and be in those premier leagues of, of hockey, you know, they're they're 62, 63, you know, 210 pounds and <laughs> and they just got a lot harder to knock down and, and uh, you know, uh, had to find a sport where size didn't matter and uh, it was a week after uh, week after we lost in the playoffs that second year with uh, Waterloo, I was in a USAC Silver Crown car at Memphis Motorsports Park. You know, hockey was something I really, really liked to do, uh, but racing is what I love. And, and it, you know, like I said, it was just instilled in me at a young age and never went away. And I joke about, uh, you know, a lot of kids got to make their mistakes in go-karts. You know, my mistakes were a lot more expensive because we were in, you know, in full body late models or ARCA or the truck series. Just kind of ever since that first day in that Silver Crown car, we've been going full bore and, and uh, you know, to get where we are now 10 years later in, in the premier, uh, you know, level, you know, in the Sprint Cup series and, and NASCAR, you know, within 10 years of first time sitting in a race car is pretty special. Those memories from hockey, I'm going to cherish forever. To, to be able to have the memories that I do from hockey and then be able to switch and get in a race car is something I think a lot of, a lot of people in our sport don't have both those uh, backgrounds and, and memories.